Achieving Longevity Through VO2 Max Insights from Dr. Atia's Personal Workout Routine and Recommendations In the quest for longevity, the relationship between peak cardiorespiratory fitness, measured by VO2 max, and all-cause mortality has become a topic of great interest. Dr. Atia, a renowned medical practitioner and author, delves into this crucial aspect of health and fitness in his book, shedding light on the importance of VO2 max for a longer and healthier life. In this video, we will explore Dr. Atia's personal workout routine and recommendations, as well as his insights on how VO2 max correlates with all-cause mortality. VO2 max, or maximal oxygen uptake, is a key indicator of an individual's cardiorespiratory fitness. According to Dr. Atia, it is the single strongest association we have with longevity. This metric is often quantified using hazard ratios, which measure the likelihood of an event occurring over time. In this case, the event we are interested in is all-cause mortality, encompassing a broad spectrum of potential causes of death. To understand the importance of VO2 max, Dr. Atia draws a parallel with smoking, a widely recognized health risk. When comparing smokers to non-smokers, the hazard ratio for all-cause mortality is approximately 2.0. This means that smokers have a 100% higher chance of dying than non-smokers in a given year. Similarly, conditions such as type 2 diabetes and high blood pressure are associated with hazard ratios of about 2.0, signifying a 100% higher risk of mortality. Even end-stage kidney disease carries a hazard ratio of 2.0 to 2.5, resulting in a 100% to 150% greater chance of all-cause mortality. However, when examining the relationship between VO2 max and all-cause mortality, the results are even more striking. Dr. Atia's research reveals that individuals with low cardiorespiratory fitness, as measured by VO2 max, face a hazard ratio as high as 5.0 when compared to those in the top 2% of fitness. In other words, there is a 400% higher risk of all-cause mortality for those with low VO2 max. Dr. Atia emphasizes that this risk differential surpasses that of smoking and other common health concerns. It underscores the importance of optimizing one's cardiorespiratory fitness to enhance longevity. Dr. Atia's Personal Cardio Protocol Now, let's take a closer look at Dr. Atia's own cardiorespiratory fitness regimen. While he acknowledges that his current commitments and lifestyle constraints limit his exercise time significantly, he has tailored his routine to prioritize both efficiency and effectiveness. Dr. Atia's cardio protocol includes four sessions per week, with only one of them dedicated to VO2 max training. VO2 max training focuses on intervals lasting from 3 to 8 minutes, with an intensity that requires a 1 to 1 ratio of work to rest. For example, a popular interval scheme he employs is 3 minutes of intense effort followed by 3 minutes of recovery. This regimen is designed to optimize the VO2 max energy system. He suggests that for individuals with busy lifestyles, this approach is practical and effective. Achieving peak cardiorespiratory fitness does not necessarily require excessive training volume. Dr. Atia's goal is to find the minimum effective dose, which amounts to approximately 4 hours a week of zone 2 training, low to moderate intensity, and 30 to 40 minutes a week of VO2 max training. Maintaining a balance between fitness and other life commitments is essential for long-term sustainability. While he acknowledges that his current VO2 max is lower than during his competitive cycling days, he also believes that he is better equipped for a healthy, active life in his later years. Challenges with the VO2 max test one interesting aspect Dr. Atia highlights is the challenge posed by the traditional VO2 max test. The test measures VO2 max in absolute liters per minute normalized to body weight. For someone who, like Dr. Atia, has a relatively large upper body due to muscle mass, the traditional test can be misleading. The test penalizes individuals for their upper body mass even though the test is primarily assessing lower body oxygen utilization. Dr. Atia suggests that a more relevant metric would be to normalize VO2 max to lower body mass, as this would provide a clearer indication of what is being measured. 
In the pursuit of longevity, optimizing cardiorespiratory fitness is a critical factor. Dr. Atia's insights into the relationship between VO2 max and all-cause mortality underscore the importance of maintaining a high level of cardiorespiratory fitness. His personal workout routine and recommendations provide a practical approach for individuals with busy lives to enhance their fitness levels. It's important to remember that achieving elite athlete-level fitness may not be necessary for everyone. Instead, focusing on reaching the top percentile of fitness, as defined by today's standards, can lead to significant health benefits and a longer, healthier life. Balancing fitness goals with other life commitments is key to long-term success on the journey toward better health and longevity. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. As always, stay curious, breathe deep and enjoy each day.